this was supposed to be a vlog for this book and it is but it is October 30th right now and um yeah I haven't read much I wanted to finish this before the end of October and you know what that was a little too ambitious uh yeah Anyways, I just, I just have to laugh. I do really like this book. I'm on chapter two. This book follows, um, it opens with a guy. He drives off into the desert, gets out of his truck and walks for however long. And he's just sitting there thinking about life. He has a gun with him. And then this dog like comes out of nowhere and it's like really friendly to him. And so he's like, oh, where's your owner? And he starts walking away in the direction that the dog came, but the dog like stops him. He like growls and is like, keeps him from going that way. And then he hears like a sound and he's like, it sounds like an animal, but it sounds human too. So like that must be the monster. And so him and the dog like take off running because it sounds like the monster's coming and they actually get chased by the monster. He shot at it a couple times, but he never actually saw it. And they ended up running back to his truck, and so now he's with this dog. And that's how the chapter ends. Hi guys, um, new angle, what's up? So this is my bed, and it is not made, but I'm gonna get in it pretty soon, so it's fine. Um, so I wanted to update on Watchers. So I am on chapter six. Yeah, it is good. Um, I've never read something like this before. So he is with the dog. They're back at his place and it's him like realizing how smart this dog is. And then you also follow a girl, yeah. following a girl who was like really smothered by her aunt and like raised to be afraid of everything she just was completely controlled by her aunt but her aunt passes away and so she's kind of just like trying to survive in this house and she gets a guy to come fix her tv and the guy turns out to be really nasty and he starts stalking her um and then the guy with the dog i forget his name travis yeah so travis and the dog happen to be walking when this guy is like really harassing her at a park and the dog like picks up on it and saves her and the guy leaves and whatever and then they end up back at her house and they save her from the guy again and then the guy gets put to jail so that's really good so that is how those two storylines have come together so now travis and nora are forming a friendship she loves the dog and they're just like with each other so then there's this also other storyline where there's this assassin guy going around getting told to like kill different people that are a part of this project that the dog and the monster are involved in. And then you are following the police investigation because the monster is starting to kill people and you get descriptions of that. Like it is very, it doesn't like just tell you oh and then this happened like it gives details of what's happening to the person's body when they're getting ripped apart and it's like really gory in a way like that's just outside of my comfort zone so I've had to skim a lot of those parts but it's written so well and so compelling that I want to read about Travis and Nora and how they are going to how their relationship is going to develop and I really think the dog is amazing he's so sweet and smart and it's really cool and then this monster is just terrifying. It sounds like a werewolf from what I have put together. So it's like half dog, half human. I will quickly do a little reading update as well. I'm going to save this for another time, A Monster Calls. It's kind of similar to Watchers. Just feel out of the season for this. I don't, I don't think it's the time. So I'm just gonna return this to the library and not read it. So that frees up a space in my TBR to read more Christmas books and stuff because that's really what I want to read. I'm thinking I need to be kind of ruthless when it comes to Christmas books because why not, you know? So I'm currently reading a Christmas in London. Let me just pull up a picture. Here's a cover. It's kind of blurry, but Christmas in London. I am finding it boring now. It started off so strong. Like, you follow this girl baking cinnamon buns and then a guy comes in and is like, I need to buy the whole set and she's like oh you can't and he's like what if i pay you a thousand dollars and she's like are you kidding me and 
Anyways, they strike up a deal, and so she ends up giving him all the cinnamon buns, and then he comes back because he's like, my whole team loved them, uh, can we hire you? And so they hire her to go on this TV show that's being filmed in London. Um, so she does it. And then you actually start following another girl who is a part of the show and her love story as well. But I don't know, I'm finding it just kind of boring. Like not much is happening. It's not holding my attention. So like, that sucks. I hope you guys are doing well. I, um, I've been struggling a bit, to be honest with my job. I'm just really needing to keep my eyes on Jesus and seek his presence and that takes commitment and time and sometimes you don't want to do it you know but I'm just like I need him so bad to get through this sometimes it's so therapeutic just to like sit here and talk even if I don't keep the video but yeah I realized like I haven't updated on watchers in a while but it's because I don't read it that much like I usually read in like big chunks and then I set it down for a bit so that's kind of where I'm at but I'm really fascinated by this book it's just oh they did they have sworn they used the f word once and then they made one reference to sex in a very derogatory way and I was like Ugh. so I just am like realizing what chapters as soon as I pick up what perspective we're in I start skimming it depending on the perspective I really only like read word for word Travis and Nora's perspective now because they're together and they're really nice and stuff so yeah but you know what I'm just interested so I'm gonna give it a go I don't know I don't know what's happening I just I'm trying my best here you know okay so I don't have an update about watchers so is this video a watchers vlog or is it an everything vlog you guys are fine with it right um but I have been reading the white Christmas Inn by Colleen Wright and I love it so I'm very happy and so that's nice. I wanted to do a little update about work because I know I talked about it in my last clip. It's going better. It's getting better, kind of. Um, it's still a battle every day, but truly I have a renewed strength and it's just because of Jesus. So I just wanted to say that like within the past two days, I feel like God has showed me you can tell me specific things that are stressing you out and I will hear you and I will be with you. And it's made a big difference for me. So I just wanted to share that. I just can't believe this life, you know? We're all stressed and it just seems like we're not catching a break. But in a way, this is what like life is about. Figuring out how to make the best of every situation and really seeing what you're made of. Like that is what this job is doing to me. Um, yeah. It's November 17th right now. It's my birthday tomorrow, which is really weird. I kind of feel like my birthday already happened. Like my sister was vis visiting me last week and we did a little celebration together. So it's weird, but yeah, I'm turning 27. So not that you would know because I, I feel like I don't act my age, but maybe I do. Um, anyways, I'm just chatting now. You can tell I've had a good day when I just like want to make a video and talk. So that's good. It's really good. Like I came home and I'm like, oh, I actually want to make a video right now. So let's do it. Seriously, this book. I've been reading The White Christmas Inn and I really like it. It's such a good Christmas story. It follows a couple different people, but all at this one, it's technically a lodge, but all these different people like come and stay there because there's a blizzard and it's over Christmas and they each kind of have their thing and you're following them. And it's just really sweet and I'm enjoying it so much. And the characters are just great, so. I'm enjoying that. That is good because Christmas in London was a dud. So yeah. And yeah, I haven't read any more Watchers yet, but hopefully this weekend I'll put a dent in it. But I mean, all of this is going to be passed by the time you see this because I'm just going to make a big mash of a video. Why not? Let me know. It's the middle of the video. So if you're watching, hi, thank you for being here. <laughs> and do you like long mishmashy vlogs or would you rather have vlogs that have like a specific purpose? This one just felt right. I just felt like, you know what? It's just gonna be a really smudge of different clips of everything. <laughs> it was meant to be a watcher's vlog, but we'll see how that goes, you know? Yeah. Also, seriously, the masks are not good for my face. <laughs> Can we just be honest right now? My acne is not happy. So I'm with you. 
if the masks have been hurting your face because they definitely hurt mine and I've just had to be like you know what it is what it is because I don't want to get sick so anyways so this is gonna be probably my final update because I just need to get this video up and I just I'm facing reality here and I don't think I'm going to finish watchers this month November has been rough um, it's been such a roller coaster for me at work and so I I don't want to push myself I don't want to feel bad whatever and I know you guys understand so I'm on page 272 of watchers right now and I I tried like I made a whole breakdown of how many pages I had to read a day to finish this before December but I can't do it <laughs> I can't do it um, work takes a lot of time yeah anyways I'm not complaining we're fine but yeah I'm kind of just wrapping up this vlog so um, I'm really liking it so far it, the monster has been killing a lot of people so it definitely explains it so there's something about his descriptions that are so vivid that like I can picture everything happening and as soon as the picture gets too real I guess I my tolerance just is gone and I can't read it so I've skimmed certain parts but the parts with Nora and Travis and I Einstein, Einstein are adorable and I love it so I definitely this book is really strange I don't know how I'm gonna write this but we'll see how it kind of plays out I think things are brewing that are gonna be tough but yeah so you'll see this in a December wrap-up I'm sure I will finish it in December just because we have Christmas break coming up so I'll be able to relax and read and not feel bad about it um, but yeah so that's a uh, goodbye to that one um, I did want to just quickly wrap up some of the other books that were in this video so I did finish the white Christmas Inn, and I I don't remember what I've talked about this video started in October and November's almost over so this is the longest running video I've ever made but just in case I didn't mention this I loved this book I gave it five stars so good just every character was so wonderful like I loved every story so cute and heartfelt and definitely really Christmassy and a lot of nice romance that wasn't cheesy and I mean, yes, everything worked out. Like there was a couple for everyone in the end. Everyone ended up with someone, but I just thought it was really sweet and I loved it. So yeah, that's five stars. Highly recommend that one. I wish that I could have put it in my Christmas recommendation video because this one would be on the top of the list almost under Catching Christmas. I guess this video is going up in December, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? We are just, it's one of those times. This video shows the chaos of my life right now. It's not even that bad, but anyways. Um, and then I did try to read Christmas in London, but I didn't like it. Um, didn't like the characters, didn't like the way it was written. The romance was cringy, so I DNF'd it. And then I am going to start, oh, it's kind of blurry. I guess it's not that bad. The Christmas Star by Donna Van Leer. I didn't talk about this author in my recommendation video either. So what am I thinking? <laughs> There's a couple books that I definitely missed but oh well there's always next year so the christmas star i don't remember what this is about but donna van leer writes a lot of different christmas stories i've read a couple of her books and they're fine but i'm gonna keep reading and see if there's any amazing gems in her collection that is the current state of things although is it current because I'm filming this on the 24th of November and I planned to get my Christmas TBR up before this video, but my Christmas recommendation video is going up tomorrow. So the timeline is messed up. Thank you for sticking with me. I feel just like a little bit crazy, but I'm by my Christmas tree and things are going to be okay. <laughs> it's just one of those times um, and I'm tired. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this vlog. Hope it was enjoyable. Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.